keeps us warm We can spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me The snow is falling down Hey guys, welcome back. And today we are going to be cleaning and decorating Logan's room. We already have the tree up, but I am so excited to get this Christmas series started. We're probably going to do maybe three or four Christmas decorating videos. So make sure that you guys are subscribed so that you get notified when every single one is uploaded. I do not have a timeline. We are really just working at our own pace, but I am so excited to get started with Logan's room. And um, we may even start on the living room, just depends on how long it's gonna take um, to get everything situated here. We're actually gonna carry over uh, from last year, the Christmas tree theme. So he wanted a Santa Claus theme last year. And so that's what we're actually gonna go ahead and do with this particular tree. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like these type of videos and let's get started. Before we get started, I wanted to go ahead and introduce my sweet friend, Jillian Starling. She is a mom of two. She does everything from cleaning to lifestyle to shopping hauls, you name it. She has been doing an amazing job on her fitness routine, so she's definitely motivating there. We've done a few collaborations in the past, and I'm so excited to be collaborating with her on this video. Please, please head on over to her channel. Let her know that I sent you. I know that you guys will love her just as much as I do. Okay, before we go any further into this video, look at Logan's hair. It is coming in so full, a little bit thinner and a little bit lighter than what it was before, but overall it's just perfect and we're just so happy that he is thriving after um, almost a year worth of treatment. But you can just see he's getting fuller in the face and he's just so happy and always so positive so we're just so proud of him um, he had so much fun putting this tree together he kind of let me roll with it as far as um, the colors and all of that but overall he had so much fun and we were watching um, I think it was chopped or like the holiday baking uh, series while this was going on so we just had so much fun putting all of this together So when I bought this tree a couple years ago, it was a flocked unlit tree. It was about $30, I think, from Walmart, which is an amazing deal. Um, but as you can see kind of through the tree, there are the light um, wires and all. Basically, I just strung um, some multicolored lights. And my goal for this tree was to hide the lights, the light wiring, basically. That's actually my goal for every tree. So number one tip when you are decorating, put as much stuff in there until you can't see them. So here I am just adding a bunch of ornaments and I'm putting on the tree topper. Um, this tree surprisingly, while there was some fallout from the flocking, it didn't fall out that much. So if you get a chance to pick up a flock tree from Walmart, I definitely recommend it. I've been very impressed. And one of the tips that I did um, learn just this year is if you lightly spray water on the flocked tree, it'll actually help with reducing that fallout as well. Oh, 
Okay, after adding the ornaments, I went in with some red and white candy cane striped um, ribbon. It was not a wired ribbon, so it's just kind of tucked in between the branches. I thought it looked so perfect. And then I'm just adding these really cute tinsel trees right next to his tree just to give it some more color and festivity and then here we're adding the Santa he loves the Santa ever since he was little he would play with it it actually snores um, and then I've had these elves for many many years but I just thought that this was such a cute little addition to his tree Okay, and it is the next day and I am working on my tree. And to be honest, I bought this white tree originally for Logan, but after looking at the size, um, I felt that the slimmer tree would be a better fit for his room. So I decided my room already has white bedding and white furniture, why not bring it into my room? But I'll be honest, I was not quite sure how I would feel about a white tree as I unboxed it. It's basically tinsel. So when I got this tray, I noticed that it doesn't have a lot of lights. And one of the things that I really wanted in the bedroom were like a twinkling light effect. So I got these lights, you can kind of see how the bulb is, but I got these lights on Amazon and I'm going to basically string them on this so that it just gives that really nice kind of twinkling effect. And this one actually has different um, settings. So the settings are like it does waves, sequential, a glowing effect, a flashing effect, a twinkling effect, and just different things. So that way at night, just to set the ambiance, we can do different types of um, effects. Um, I personally love the twinkling. Joe hates having the lights on, but I think that this is going to be a really nice addition because this tree does look a little bit sparse. So I'm going to add the lights and then just fill it up.
Okay, so at this point, it is already dark time. I did take a break so that I could make dinner and pick up. I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to holiday decorating, I cannot get it done in one day. It takes me actually a couple weeks to get my whole house done. <laughs> but um, here I am just taking my time. The tree looks so bare. Um, I thought white on white would be beautiful, but my goal is to plump this tree up. So I am gonna fill it with ornaments. Believe it or not, there are tons of ornaments in there. It's just so hard to see with the white on white. And unfortunately, when you look on Pinterest, finding a white tree with white ornaments is like slim to none. I saw a lot of white trees with bright colored ornaments, but nothing with white on white. So my goal is basically to fluff it up and all I'm doing is putting in some kind of like these leafy picks that are white glittered. And then I found these really cute cotton balls. I thought that that was exactly what this tree needed. It just gave it a different type of depth and just um, dimension overall. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stuff this tree with these cotton picks. So these picks I did get at Hobby Lobby and it was a large um, gathering of it. So I'm basically just, or I basically just cut off the picks and I'm just sticking them um, into certain areas of the tree that kind of just needed that fullness. us warm we can spend the night underneath the mistletoe and i've gotten you a present that i put under the tree tomorrow it is christmas the first for you and me the snow is falling down and the storm is on its way but as long as you're so overall i am so happy with how the room turned out it looks so beautiful and cozy matter of fact when joe came home he loved how the tree looked i thought that he wasn't going to be a fan of the white on white but once you have the lights on it creates the perfect ambiance in the bedroom so just created a lot of different texture using the cotton picks the tassels and ornaments definitely a tip layer your ornaments on you can never have too many ornaments on a christmas tree but overall we are just loving the tree i hope that you guys enjoyed this video there's going to be a few more christmas decorating videos so make sure that you are subscribed if you are not following me over on instagram head on over there make sure that you hit that follow button so that you can see more updated pictures of what we're doing as always, guys, I love you so much and I truly, truly appreciate you. Please make sure to head on over to my sweet friend Jillian's channel. Let her know that I sent you. And if you're not subscribed, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you can get notified on all of my upcoming videos. As always, guys, I love you and I will see you in the next one.